Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny. Welcome to another antique store haul. Everything we're going to be looking at today came from the Black Rose of Chambersburg as well as Interstate 81 Antiques. Now I didn't find very much at all at the Black Rose, which is surprising because usually I can walk out with a pretty good deal of stuff for resale and for myself, but sometimes you just don't find a lot or the items that you want are just priced exactly where they should be. And that's totally okay. That's just how it is sometimes. So I spent a total of $16.92 on the items I'm going to be sharing with you. It's only three things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I found these 1920s, 1930s, ornate, heavy metal wall sconces. They need to be rewired, and when I say rewired, I mean they need hardware, they need the sockets, and they need the electricity and such for them. But I got a set of two of them, and I'm sure somebody out there who likes this ornate style will definitely love to get their hands on these. I'm telling you guys, if you see old hardware or things like this, pick them up because people do buy them and they like to restore older homes with original pieces. Not like a lot of the stuff that we have out there nowadays, which is, is nice, but it's not as great a quality as the stuff from back then. So I thought that was a really good price for $7.16. Now I paid $4.80 for this Norcrest Graduate Planter. I just thought that was really fun and I could put that with like my high school diploma or anything like that when I get my own place and have my own office. And he's in good shape, no condition issues. I mean, aside from some minor paint loss, but I just couldn't say no to that for four bucks and 80 cents. Now the last item I picked up at the Black Rose was really awesome. I paid $4 for this. It's an Art Deco vanity tray. You can put your perfume on here, your cologne on here, whatever floats your boat. It isn't marked anywhere. Ooh, don't mean to blind you guys. It's silver overlay with black and here's the back of it. But I thought that was a really good price for something like that. I mean usually in some antique malls I'm sure someone would try to charge maybe $20, maybe even a little bit more than that. But I, I thought it was great. I like the look of it. Very, very deco, very 30s, 1940s-ish. So I couldn't leave that behind for four bucks. All right, now we're gonna be taking a look at everything that I got at Interstate 81 Antiques. So I spent a total of $31.70. There are some things that are not vintage that are not gonna be shown in this haul, but are gonna definitely make me some pretty good money. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So for $5 a piece, I found these really awesome Norcrest frog figurines. We've got a football player and we have a tennis player. They look very calm and mellow, don't they? I hope they didn't get into the, uh, the devil's lettuce before they started playing. But there is the Norcrest sticker and it has the K503. I remember looking these up in the store and I think a set of these sold for $35 to $40 if I'm not mistaken, but I could be very wrong about that. It's been just a few weeks since I picked these up, but I just could not leave them behind. So 10 bucks turn into maybe 40, that's a pretty good return on investment. So I found this, it's an Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. They had it marked as a candle holder. I believe it's probably more of a toothpick holder. I paid $1.95 for that. So that'll be up for grabs at a live sale, possibly like a spring themed live sale. I found these, and I believe these came from a gentleman in the very back of the uh, antique mall in the basement. So you walk down the steps to the second floor, and you go all the way into the back. You turn one corner, and then you turn another. He's got boxes of stuff for 25 cents, so anything in the boxes is a quarter. And I found these Whitman Division flashcards made by the Western Publishing Company, probably in the 1960s or 70s. And I do know that Tarnished Treasures likes to craft with these kinds of items or just use them because she is a teacher. Like, help her out with her kids and stuff. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up for a quarter. I got a small little box of things that I need to send up her way. I've had for probably about two years that I've been meaning to get to her. So this is something that's definitely going to go in that box. 
for $4.95, I was able to pick up a, a putt's house. I like to jokingly call them a yutz house. They were popular decorations in the 60s, I believe. This one has a Japan mark on the bottom. It's missing part of the awning here, but and then some of the stained glass is missing there, but it's still in good shape. Might bring that to a Christmas sale at one point. The light would go there. Oh, what am I doing here? So this was in that 25 cent box. Um, it's a Wilton stand-up jack-o'-lantern cake pan from the year I was born, 1995. I assume it was never used because the pan looks to be in really good condition. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't remember how much that's going for right now or if I just went ahead and snagged it because it was a quarter. I'm sure it'll be worth more than the quarter I paid. And the last item I'd like to share with you all is probably my most shocking find. I found this on a shelf, and I walked past it probably two or three times before even grabbing it. This is a Fenton Santa Claus fairy lamp. I paid $5 for it, I believe. Was it $5? Yes, I paid $5 for this. Now, I will say, the tongue is chipped, which does happen with some of these pieces, but I felt that paying 5 bucks for that was definitely worth it, because when you do see these, people do charge an arm and a leg for them. So that is everything that I would like to share with you all from the Black Rose of Chambersburg, as well as Interstate 81 Antiques. Let me know down below in the comments section, what were your favorite items from this haul? So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.